Hey guys, Nash here. So finally we have Android Q GSI. Now if you don't know what is GSI, it's called Global System Image. It means it can be installed on any phone as long as that phone has stable support. So as I said, this one can be installed in any treble supported phone. Now if you don't know how to make your phone treble supported, you can watch a video in i button. So first thing first, this room cannot be used as daily driver as most of the things are broken in this room like brightness slider is not working, you can't install apps because there is no play store, you can sideload apps like chrome but that won't work properly. The camera is working, you can take photos. Dialer is working. As you can see, the dialer looks same like Android Pie. There is nothing new here. So in notification drawer, brightness slider is on the top and all the tiles are looking similar like Android Pie and there is nothing new here also. So as you can see, this is Android Q. The security patch is 5th January and there is a custom kernel here. And you can check this build number which confirms it's an EOSP ARM64 build. And also we have one more new feature is in the display section. We have new colors option. You can choose different kind of colors for your screen. We have natural, we have boosted and we have adaptive. So natural is of course the normal one. When you tap on boosted, it will pop all the red, green and blue colors just like Samsung phones to make it more vibrant and colorful. And then we have these adaptive colors. So this feature works like auto brightness. It will adapt the colors depending where you are, if you're inside or outside. So that's how it works. And I know what most of you are thinking. What is that search bar that looks like KitKat? This happens whenever we have new version of any Android version. Because these builds are created from AOSP, you find this vintage Google search bar in every new build. So apart from that, Wi-Fi is not working, but Bluetooth is working, mobile data is working, you can call someone or text someone easily, but I would still say this room is not ready yet, we have to wait for some more time until at least Pixel 3 get first developer preview of Android Q. So if this room is so broken, why did I install it on my phone? I installed it for you guys so you don't have to waste your time testing this Android Q builds. So that's the reason I install most of the stuff to let you know guys so you can save your time. So guys, right now we have two Android Qs build. The first one is early build and the second one is this leaked GSI. Now installing GSI is really easy but still I will leave step by step guide in description box below. And now I will show you how to install Android Qs early build on your phone. Now make sure you already have unlocked bootloader. That's the only requirement for this procedure. So first of all, go ahead and download this Android Q zip file from description box below. And once you download it, extract the zip file and then connect your phone via USB cable to your PC. And now we are going to reboot into fast boot mode, also known as bootloader mode. So once you boot in fast boot mode, Click on flasher underscore windows from that folder that you just downloaded and make sure your device is connected properly and don't interrupt the process once it's started. It might take around 5 to 10 minutes. So when this process is going on, you can go ahead and download TWRP for your device. I already have downloaded TWRP for my OnePlus 6 and make sure you download the IMG file and not the zip file.
So once this process is finished, press any key to exit from command window and go to your fastboot folder where you have kept your twrp.img file. Now type fastboot space boot twrp.img or whatever your recovery's name is. Press enter and your phone will boot into your twrp recovery. And then copy this android q patches file and paste inside your internal storage. Now go to mount folder and select vendor. Now go to install tab and select that android q patches, swipe right to install and reboot your phone. And that's it. Now you have successfully installed android q on your phone. The first boot might take around 10 to 15 minutes so please wait. If you don't succeed, try this process again. And in case anything goes wrong, just go to your fast boot mode and then again boot into your TWRP and install whatever room you like. So this is how you install Android Q's taste pill on your phone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you appreciate my work on this channel. This is your friend Nair signing out and I will see you tomorrow. Ooh.